Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a makeup that's based around this incredible new hair color I have. Just joking. It's a wig. So yeah, I'm just going to play with some tones that are like, sort of fit this wig. <laughs> or compliment this wig. It's from um, Uni Wigs and I have a discount code for it so I'll put it down in the um, description box below. But yeah, let's get straight into it. I'm going to be using the um, Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. I have no direction with this makeup so we are running free. Pick up the colour Peanut Butter on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to place that in the crease. Oh my god, wigs are so much fun. They make you feel like a whole new person. Like, I literally wore it out yesterday to the shops and I was like feeling myself hardcore. I just wanted like everyone around me to tell me that I was a bad bitch. I'm gonna take the color Butter Pecan and I'm gonna place that on the lid. So I just have a flat dividing brush and we're just gonna press that onto the lid. Add a pecan and place it underneath my brow bone. I'm going to place a little bit in the inner corner as well, why not? In the colour truffled, and place that in the outer third of the eye. This is just on a fluffy brush. And I'm just really focusing it on the outer corner. Next, I'm going to take by MAC Cosmetics the Reflex Transparent Teal. And I'm just going to place that on a empty bullet brush. I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I love Reflex Teal. It's like one of my favourite MAC pigments. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, I have a handy tip for you all. My eyeliner has been like drying out. This is by Sigma. So to fix that and to give it that moisture again, I got this Inglot Duraline. This does is you place like one little, one little drop in there and then mix it about and it re-liquefies your eyeliner so if you have like any pots of eyeliner that have dried up and you don't want to buy a new one just buy Duraline and it liquefies your eyeliner again so I'm going to place that Sigma black gel liner on the eyeball Just kind of kept the eyeliner halfway through. I haven't brought the eyeliner all the way in. I feel like the number one fear of wearing wigs is that you're gonna lose it. Like it's just gonna blow off and stuff. Like I know that like you're supposed to secure it down and stuff, but like there was this one time when I was like at Crown Casino. Uh, it's just like this place in Melbourne. Um, and this girl, she like fell over and lost her wig. Like, I mean, she like face planted and the wig just went and I didn't know if I should laugh or if I should feel bad or if I should help out. So I just kind of just stood there and I was like, I hate to be you. <laughs> I like feel like that's like such a fear of like wearing wigs. Like that's like my one fear of wearing wigs out. But they're so much fun. Like it just like creates so much character. Well, for me, at least it does. Next, I'm going to take that color truffled again. And we're going to place this on a small flat defining brush. And I'm going to place that underneath on the bottom waterline. Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. Personally, it's not like my favorite mascara. I prefer the... Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. That one's actually incredible. But I'm out of it, so I need to go buy some more. 
And just to open my eyes up a little bit more, I'm going to be using by Marc Jacobs highlighter gel crayon. And it's called In The Buff. This is just going to help to open up your eyes a little bit more. Yeah, if you've got small eyes, I'll offer lighter colours in your waterline because it's going to draw more light to that area and make your eyes appear bigger. I'm going to place on some half lashes. Put on my foundation and I'm using the MAC Face and Body in the shade C2. I am no longer dark, which is thoroughly depressing. Back to my pale vibes. So next I'm going to be using by Urban Decay the Naked Skin Concealer in medium light. I did actually place it on, but I realised I wasn't recording. <laughs> I'm such a dad. So that's why it's already there. So I just place a little bit more on for the heck of it because why not? We don't want bags. Next I'm going to do a contour with the iconic contour palette. And I'm just going to take this shade which has obviously been thoroughly abused. And I'm just going to place the highlight underneath the eye down the bridge of the nose revisit my pineapple and on the chin and the cupid's bow let's bounce that product in luxury powder in cameo and I'm just gonna set that under eye area so that does not go anywhere while I'm baking I'm going to take this shade from the iconic palette and this is the Kat Von D number 40 brush love this so good for a nose contour. And I'm going to sculpt the face. Wish that all in. So I'm going to dust off this bake here. Seriously, like I feel like Chloe Kardashian. Like I feel like I could be a stunt double. Yo, Chloe, if you need a stunt double, I'm here. Come get me, I'm in Australia. I would love to be your stunt double. She's such a hot bitch. Take by Benefit, the Hula Bronzer on an angle brush. There's nothing new with my face routine. Like, I literally have not broken my habits in so long. I think it's just because I like the products that I'm using at the moment. They work. And, like, why fix something that ain't broke, you know? Next, I'm going to give my face a spritz with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Spray. Cucumber, this one smells incredible. I take by MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Skin Finish in Gold Deposit, which you all should know thoroughly by now. I'm going to use this Rockateur blush by uh, Benefit. Just to add some like rosiness. Yeah. I'm glad I did that. Champagne pop highlighter. 
Mm -mm -mm. Come through highlight. Gonna place that on bridge of the nose, tip of the nose. Cute it though. So for lips, I think I'm gonna mix two colors together. I think I'm gonna mix Serenity and Mile High by Gerard Cosmetics because one's kind of like a cool tone and one's like a warm tone. So I kind of want like a hybrid. I don't want it to be too warm. So I'm gonna put down Serenity first. Okay, so this is the completed look. I am loving this. I'm feeling all types of fierce, all types of Khloe Kardashian. This is just wonderful. I'm like vibing this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. If you like this look, please, um, like it, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Also, if you have any requests for any videos that you were wanting for me to do up or any looks that you've seen that you want me to recreate, I would love to do them. So yes, please let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Bye. Back in, oh shit. Losing crap everywhere. Whoa, I look like some sort of tribal warrior right now. Hello. It gives me so much life. What am I talking about? This is not a wig. This is so my hair. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Asle. Asle. We come slay. Oh, yeah. I, oh, oh, yes. I like that. <laughs> I did not come to play with you, ho. <laughs> I came to slay, bitch. I just realized I had lipstick on my teeth this whole time. I am such a dud. Well.